and tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart of the Russell, as you can see here. Uh, this is a, a relatively long-term chart. goes back about seven or eight months, and you can see the high that we made so far today at 1896 was a 61% retracement of that high and a completed ABCD. I originally thought it was going to stop around 19, excuse me, 1860, but it went 30 points higher than that. But uh, it's been up in that area several times, so the risk there at that level was relatively small. There was a guest on CNBC today, Stanley uh, Zuckermiller. Uh, you know, he Drunken Miller. He is uh, one of the guys with Jimmy Rogers worked with uh, George Soros, and he told the story about the dot com era, and he said that he was handling a couple of billion dollars for Soros, and he was short uh, a bunch of uh, six of these uh, dot com uh, stocks. And uh, at at six hundred thousand uh, dollars, no, no, what what was it? It was uh, two hundred million. At two hundred million dollars, he had to blow the position out. Remember, he's holding two billion, so he's risking two hundred million dollars, uh, roughly ten percent. And he had to get out because of money management. And all six of those stocks went bankrupt. And he said he's always remembered that. Because it was a sign of, you know, bad money management and poor timing, but the right idea. And we go through that uh, all the time. He also was a big proponent of artificial intelligence. He thinks this is the real deal. And uh, the Bitcoin thing, he's not so sure of. In fact, he was a little negative towards that. But it was interesting to hear him talk about some of those mistakes that he had made uh, through the years. Now, I want to share with you. Uh, some of the things that Larry Williams put out in one of his videos uh, just recently because, uh, you know, Larry does a really good job at cycle stuff. But here is his roadmap. Uh, and it's the first time that Larry has been bearish in a long time. And what he's looking for now is a move uh, uh, topping right about in this area right here and then bottoming right around July the 15th. These are cycles that he works with. Remember these cycles, they don't work all the time. The only thing that works all the time is prayer. And sometimes if you get that wrong, it doesn't even work. That was a little joke, folks, a uh, religious joke, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's take a look here at this cycle that he's looking at here. It's a short-term cycle, of course, but uh, his work is pretty good. And if you like short-term things where your risk can be controlled, this is what you want to look at. And here is the pattern that he's watching is for a move to come down into right around July the 15th. And that's a very, very important spot to look at. Remember, folks, on the 25th of June, we have a big cycle date that Chris Carolyn has been talking about for several years, thinking it's going to be something of, you know, dramatic nature. Uh, what that could be, we don't really know, but we'll keep a keep a close eye on it. So those were two of the ones that Larry was looking at. And then also he brought out the point about the Federal Reserve, excuse me for, for the raspy voice, folks. It's uh, Palo Verde season here. And you can see that the Federal Reserve is basically following what happens with the thing. You know, they they don't always get it right. Even though they handle a lot of money, they don't always get it right. They do make some serious mistakes along the way. Um, if you remember, negative interest rates was supposedly one, but you don't know what the Fed is doing, folks. It's a private bank with a private corporation. So you really, uh, it's not, it has nothing to do with the government, even though it's right on Pennsylvania Avenue. People confuse that was something that uh, it just really doesn't do this. But Larry had one other uh, really neat chart about inflation, and I wanted to bring this one to you because uh, this shows a very clear picture that maybe inflation is starting to move to the downside. We'll see that, as you can see, 
this level uh, right in here. Now, if you remember uh, on Monday, excuse me, on Tuesday when we first came up, we posted uh, this chart of the live cattle futures, okay? Because we said you want to be pay attention to the live cattle futures, okay? Because we've just taken out a 14-year high. We went back here, 2014. We took those highs out. That was uh, nine years ago. We took those out. And so what we want to do is we want to try to spot, spot a place where we might be able to get in the live cattle futures without risking very much. And let me just give you a bird's eye view of one of our favorite patterns. Yes, Johnny, I'm going to be talking about 3A2. So as you come up here, we're going to take this chart up and we're going to bring up the August cattle. And you can see we gapped up three points uh, all the way up to here. And there was your 38% retracement right here. And then the market dropped and was down two, point, two, and a half, two points on the day. That was a a four-point move uh, in cattle, folks, with the risk of about 40 pips. Uh, that was one that we were uh, sort of watching today that uh, worked out pretty well. Unfortunately, they don't all work out, as we well know, but some of them worked out better than others, and that's what we're you know, really paying close attention to. I want to bring it another one. This has been one of our patterns that we've had for quite some time from our good friend, Jim Bartolioni. He'll be on next week, but he wanted to alert us to this pattern that we've been looking at in natural gas. This is the ETF uh, for that, the UNG, as you can see. And we've just had a nice profit in our natural gas contract that we put on yesterday, uh, four days ago at 2.15, back on last Friday. And we got out of it today at uh, 33. We made a very nice profit in that, uh, which was nice. And so we'll see whether that's going to happen. Uh, today, uh, the gold market went up and made a slightly higher high by a dollar. Remember the Six, the 382 retracement was 18, 1983. We went to 1984. We've dropped $30 uh, to the downside on that, folks. So that's a situation where it goes up, exceeds the Fibonacci number by a dollar, dollar and a half, and then just gives up the ghost. And when you see that happening, that tells you that you know something big is really moving in the direction that you'd like to think it's going to go because we believe we're going to get down to 1905 in that gold market uh, eventually. The only bugaboo that we've had today, folks, is the fact that the doggone soybeans are getting stronger and stronger. Wheat and corn are weakening, which is good because we want to buy both of those. We, we uh, were able to buy wheat at the 382 uh, last night, and the market rallied uh, 13 cents to the upside, and we raised our stop to break even, which was the thing to do because immediately uh, down it came. And so uh, that's why we're watching these. And we got this big report coming up here on June the 9th, uh, which is Friday, and that'll be an interesting one to uh, pay uh, close attention to, of course. So those are just a few of the things that we're watching here today, but uh, there will be a lot of fun. Remember, folks, uh, this thing that's going on with, with Bitcoin and the government and stuff, you know, don't get – don't get too confused about that, folks. These folks with the Bitcoin got a lot more money. Well, they don't have more money than the government, but they have better they have better paid attorney, attorneys. <laughs> okay, let's take a little break. 877-927-6648. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, 
dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart of the August gold. Uh, you can see how many hours this was an hourly chart. As you can see here, we stayed up here for quite some time at the 61% retracement, and then we go above it by $2 and with a beautiful A, B, C, D pattern measuring within a dollar of that high. And you can see the quick reversal. And then this has been a $30 move to the downside. That sets up, if you remember, we've got this bigger A, B, C, D that comes in down around that 1905 level. That's going to be a really interesting one to watch. Hopefully, I'll be able to... Uh, I'll be able to get a, uh, show you what this picture looks like in just a moment because uh, I think we've got it lined up here. Yeah, there we go. We're almost there. Bear with me here, folks. Because this, is the pro this is the one that we're going to be watching. This is going to be a real interesting one here. Hold on here. I'm getting uh, – there you go. Uh, there's where we're looking at, 1905, uh, right down in that area which is where we think we're going to be. There's your 382 retracement, uh, and then you came down hard. Uh, remember, this one was up here at 90, 90, uh, 98. Uh, we covered it at 62. I uh, put it back at 80, and uh, we're looking at 1905 here uh, as a possible 1905, 1915 as a really important load. Now, remember, this will be equal to the same move that we had back here. That's that similarities that we see in the market uh, quite a bit. And it'll be a 382 off of this low way back here. So that's it. The only thing that I just can't understand today is the soybeans. They just keep wanting to go higher. Uh, we're uh, Luckily, we're not involved in the wheat and the corn right now. We've got orders setting in uh, quite a bit lower uh, to buy those. But the soybeans are up about 12 cents. Uh, just just liking to uh, taking off to the upside, which they do uh, 
you know, quite often. So that's not a big deal, folks, because there's always a new bus coming around and they'll, you'll be able to find one. I've been asked to uh, bring up that chart uh, of Apple that I posted the other day uh, with that reversal signal. Uh, that came from uh, eSignal. Uh, one of the people that uh, post stuff for eSignal, I don't know where they come from. Just a minute and I'll get this chart up so you'll be all be able to see it without too much trouble. Instead, I can just talk about it. You'll see that we had all those ABCDs. We went through all of those, and they measured, if you remember, they measured to 185. It went up to 187, I believe, and now it's had a big reversal with big volume on some of these things. And also the NASDAQ is very weak today. Uh, couldn't quite make a new high today. Uh, the one that really was the big winner today so far has been the Russell. It was up uh, one and three quarters percent, up at that 61 percent retracement, but there's still uh, – you know, a lot of time to, to go with the rest of the day. The S&P, we got back to uh, near our buy price at uh, 40, excuse me, the sell price at, uh, at 40, uh, 230, 43.03. And then uh, we uh, had our stop, of course, uh, was 15 points above that. And now it's broken and it's now, now has 30 handles. Uh, at least it did a little while ago. Uh, in our favor so those are some of the ones that we're really paying uh, close attention to but the grains are the grains have a, a, a lot of opportunity here folks the $64 question is are we going to reach some of these levels and that's going to be really interesting because what would happen today and I wish I kept the chart but unfortunately I didn't and that was the wheat chart because uh, we're in December wheat now folks that's the one we want to be looking at and we've had a uh, we've had a tremendous rally we've rallied uh, over 70 cents and uh, last night we came down and hit the 382 at 652 and it, and it rallied up to 666 well that's a 14 cent profit and we were only risking eight cents so that was double now it didn't we didn't take profit but i said put your stop at break even because if it gets below that something's wrong and it did. We got we went in at 652. It rallied up to 666. Ooh, that's a, that's a very important number. And then it came back to 652 again, where we said to exit. And now it's trading eight cents under that at 644. These numbers are important, folks, because what when they work they look great, but when they don't work they're great because it tells you that something has changed and something's wrong. That's really all you're looking at. Uh, even with this big move we've had in the NASDAQ today, we had a 382 retracement in the NASDAQ. It was down 130. It rallied up to be down less than 100, and that was a 382, and then it was starting to make new lows again. So remember, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money uh, you don't lose. That's the whole thing. Now, let's take a look here at this chart from our good friend Jim Bartoleone. This one I really like. This is the, the Shanghai market, which is the Chinese stock market, and it also is the big one for the tech part of the Chinese sector. You know, there's several different sectors, but this is the big one right here. And you can see here we had this giant run-up, okay, and then we had the 61% retracement. And now look at these lower highs, folks. There's your 382 right here. Okay, and there's your another 382 right here. So this market is in a downtrend, and all, all it needs to do is you can see this trend line that is uh, that Bart drew here. Once we crack through that trend line, in other words, make lows from last uh, two weeks, uh, that's going to take us down to some really, really low prices, if in fact it'll do that. Now, that's still early in the day, but that's what we're watching here. Uh, in that Shanghai index. I've never traded it. I've never traded the Hang Seng, even though I look at them and pay attention to them. I haven't traded them. I'm busy enough doing everything that I'm trying to do with the grains and the crude oil and, and the S&P and the Russell and the Dow Jones and the whole bit. Uh, it, it gets pretty, pretty. And the, even cattle today were uh, quite wild and stuff. And, and by the way, we talked about live hogs yesterday, the July hogs did rally uh, 12 cents up to the 382 retracement and that stopped it at 89 and it's trading a couple cents under that today also so another one that is uh, you know very very important from uh, that st strategy standpoint but remember I want to bring this to your attention because this is really important because the news was so bullish on this this is a potential and it 
in order for this to be a double bottom, Apple has to get below 155 in order for a double top, I mean. We went and made a higher high by just a fraction here, folks. I'm talking about less than a point. So that confirms that as a double top. And then you had the double reversal where it took out the last two days. This is a weekly, so it took out the last two days. That is a, a reversal pattern, and that's when you want to start looking for the 382 pullbacks if you're ready to find something like that. Now, when we come up to our uh, break here, which will be very, very shortly, we'll have Jeff Huge as our guest. Hopefully tomorrow we're going to have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics will be our guest. And uh, on Friday, i uh, got somebody special, if I can just verify it. We're going to be right back with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, folks. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, I'm doing very well, uh, Larry. Thanks for having me on the show today. It's my pleasure. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. You get the NASDAQ is down 1.5%, the S&P is down, and you got the Russell straight up and the Dow Jones up. It's just really a bifurcated market, and you're going to tell us where we are in the cycle. So please take over the mic and show us what you're looking at, my friend. 
Sure. You know, with respect to your comment on uh, the rotation in the market, I think that's just what you're seeing. I mean, the money's coming out of the NASDAQ and the S&P, and it's really out of those tech titans, if you will, uh, that have, you know, kind of carried the market all the way. And it's got to rotate somewhere. And if you look at the valuation disparity in some of these smaller and mid-cap names, you know, and, and some of the Dow names, some of the more value and, and cyclical-centric uh, industrial names, that's where the money's rotating because it, it has to be in equities. It's got to go somewhere. But, you know, what ends up happening is the rest of the market just kind of follows the big stocks down. And, and you know, what we wanted to really highlight is where we are in the market cycle right now. And this is a, this is a chart that's been around for some time. Uh, it was published by a professor out of Hofstra University years ago. But it's, it's very intuitive. And, you know, um, we're definitely not in the stealth phase. And we're definitely not in the awareness phase. And I think it's very clear that the mania phase is behind us. That was the period between, you know, late 2020 through the, you know, January 2022 highs when, you know, media attention around Kathy Wood's ARC fund and, you know, uh, disruptive technology yeah. companies and SPACs and, you know, crypto and, you know, the new tulip bulbs of uh, the 21st century, right? And, you know, the level of, uh, you know, public action in, in the markets with respect to using Robinhood accounts and trading zero days to expiration options, this is all behind us. And, and what we saw was, you know, a crescendo back on uh, January 4th of 2022, where the market peaked and the decline into the October lows set up a terrific bull trap, in my opinion. Sentiment got so oversold that everybody came in and said, this is the bottom, and they piled in the stocks. And we've rallied them 20% off the lows, right, in S&P terms. But in reality, the average stock is up nowhere near that. The average stock is up half of that, right? A 10% rally after a 27% decline, you know, that's about a one-third retracement. Not a big deal very normal. But we're back to this point in the market cycle where people think, you know, the coast is clear. The Fed's going to stop cutting rates. They're going to start cut or stop raising rates. They're going to start cutting soon. Um, earnings estimates have stopped going down. Stocks are starting to break out. Apple made a new high. Um, you know, everything's great. We've got a new, you know, theme to glom onto with, you know, artificial intelligence and, and things of this nature. And, you know, uh, everybody's let their guard down. And the problem is that's right when the market is at its most vulnerable point. And we put a blue arrow where we think we are, right at that, that turning point. Uh -huh. And I think the price action you're seeing in the, in the NASDAQ 100 today is, is really um, congruent with what we're talking about here. It's, it's indicative of this rollover that's beginning, right as the NASDAQ 100 has reached a 61.8% retracement. Oh wow! This next start, this you're gonna. This is really you talk about a spike. Holy cow! Tell us what this one is, Jeff. This is a. This looks like a cardiogram for somebody just about ready to take the final plunge. This is a, well, you wow! Know, that's a that's it, a really a big spike. It, it's illustrative of what I just mentioned. Um, that is the uh, largest inflow into tech stocks that we've seen in the last twenty years. This is, is that weekly real money? fund flows. This is this is real money. Yeah, this is this is this is institutional and retail money, uh, just measured by fund flows going into the technology sector uh, stocks in that ETF, right? And you know these stocks are overhyped, overvalued, and it's clear at this point that they're overowned. Everybody owns these stocks, and and this was you know basically. Um, published, I think, about a week week ago or so, just as the market is making these these new highs, you know, following the big, you know, AI hysteria with, you know, <laughs> uh, Nvidia and some of the other stocks, uh, you know, uh, citing you know uh, demand from you know data centers for their AI chips, right? And so, um, you know, this suggests that you know people are all in on this trade, and again, they've let their their guard down. Well, that's for sure. Now, do you have an opinion on the AI phenomenon, Jeff? One of our listeners is yeah. asking that question. Yeah, yeah, I do. I think it's probably going to be the next big thing in the next 25 years, just like the Internet was over the last 25 years. But it didn't happen all in one month or one year. 
it took 25 years to, to evolve to what it is today. And there were some okay. big opportunities that, that, you know, came and went with that. But if you recall, over the last 25 years, we had some of the biggest crashes in the market, in market history, right? We had the yeah. dot-com unraveling, the tech wreck. We had the, you know, the great financial crisis. We had the, you know, the 2016 event. Uh, then we had the COVID crash, not to mention the 2018 event. So, you know, there were a lot of big corrective actions in the market as that was unfolding. And I think you're going to see the same. And, and it all kicked off at the very beginning when, when this hysteria, when they realized that the emperor had no clothes, right? That it was a lot of hype and a lot of discussion, but there really wasn't any substance behind it for a decade or so. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, I was watching uh, CNBC today, and they had Stanley Druckenmiller on, and he was saying what happened to him in the dot-com bubble. He had $2 billion he was trading for George Soros, and uh, he had a, uh, a net loss in that $2 million of $600 million in seven stocks. And he said he had to blow it out because of money management reasons, so he got blown out. And he said it was within one day of the high. And he said six of those seven stocks went bankrupt. And he said he never forgot that trade. He said that's the one that's always haunted him because he didn't use didn't use the best money management on the way up. But uh, it was interesting how it didn't affect him very much at all. He said he got right back on the horse. And uh, But he's a big, big proponent of AI. He really thinks, like you do, that it's uh, the Internet revisited uh, – for the next 10 or 15 or 20 years is what he was saying. So we'll certainly be keeping a, a close eye on that. Let's move on to our, our next chart here because uh, all of these are, I really like when I see things like manias like that, big spikes, they, they mean a lot to me because you don't see them that often. And when you do, you know that it's some type of a flagpole effect. Here's the next one we're taking a look at. You want to tell the, the folks about the, the earnings and the market caps? Sure. So we looked at the um, the top tech titans. This is a study produced by Ned Davis Research, and I apologize it's missourced at the bottom. I put stock charts, and I changed the chart, and I didn't uh, update that uh, source. So this did come from Ned Davis. But, you know, what they did is they took the top nine market cap technology stocks in the United States. It's Meta, Amazon, Netflix, uh, Microsoft, Apple, Google, uh, Adobe, uh, Salesforce.com and NVIDIA, in no particular order. But what they did is they aggregated up the market cap as a percent of the S&P 500. Uh -huh. Let's come back to this one after the break. We're going to take a break and pay a few bills for TFNN. We'll be right back, folks, with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights. Stay tuned. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. 
Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, and he's going to talk to us about trader sentiment has never been more bullish. And here again, it's another straight-up chart. Sure. Uh, let me just finish what I was saying about that tech market cap versus earnings. Just that the market cap's gotten to about 27% of the S&P 500 again for the third time in the last three years. And the first time it got there, earnings were right there, around 26%, 27%. Now earnings are only 16% of their contribution to S&P 500 earnings. The spread between market cap and the earnings contribution is now three standard deviations above the mean. So, you know, it, it's something that's beyond just price, but it's the fundamentals are deteriorating uh, in a big way be, uh, between uh, that, that disparity between valuation and, uh, and price. So to your point about this trader sentiment, uh, never being more bullish, we actually just saw uh, record S&P 500 call option volume this last uh, week. It was quite um, quite a sight to see. And I think what it really speaks to is just the absolute level of optimism that abounds in the market, where wow. investors are basically buying call options at a record pace uh, because they're so excited and so bulled up on this, you know, new AI revolution and, you know, potential bull market. But bear in mind, we've only retraced 61.8% of the entire uh, bear market decline at this point. That is the yep. single most common retracement point. And yep. that's exactly when that sentiment shift occurs. And that's why we're so concerned right now about where the market is relative to its long-term cycle. You know, I pay a great deal of attention to that number because that Fibonacci number is 618 because we hit it exactly in the cash S&P uh, and also in the E-mini futures. Uh, of course, the NASDAQ was uh, off in flagpole land, but uh, the Russell today made that same number, uh, Jeff. It hit yeah. the exact 61% retracement at 1896. In fact, I, when my, uh, I have alerts on, and when my alert went off, I said, what's wrong? And then I looked and I said, because I thought I had turned everything off, and it was that one thing that I had hit, and uh, it's backed off a tiny bit from that level. But the fact that it was able to make it with so much volume and the people, you know, they, they couldn't get enough of this stuff, uh, you know, a year and a half ago, and then it goes into a very, very strong bear market. And just as soon as it starts breaking out, everybody wants to buy it again. I guess it's the herd following the herd. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I just thought I'd throw that in about that 61% retracement. Now, well, you're uh, absolutely this is, right. I'm sorry for interrupting, so, Jeff, but let's talk no about worries. this. Uh, okay, so, um, you know, I, I put this chart out there repeatedly, just kind of we're monitoring it tick by tick, day by day. <sighs> And, you know, it's a very bearish setup uh, in the S&P. And to your earlier point, you know, we did hit the 618 retracement uh, from the 
the closing high to the closing low in this bear market uh, from the intraday high to the intraday low. There's still a few points left to go. We could actually trade up to just under 43.12 is where it comes in in the cash index. Uh, and we got up to just under 4,300 so far. But what we're noticing is that today's high, as long as it remains um, you know, unchallenged, as long as we don't take out the um, June 2nd high, that would actually be a tweezers top, which is an in- interesting technical point. But we do have a throwover from that kind of converging sort of set of lines uh, in the uh, in the final run up here. In fact, we, we've labeled it uh, wave C of Y, and we see a convergence there. And we've got also wave y, wave y of 2 that is also converging. And the other thing that I think is really interesting here is that they are both fractals of one another and of the larger degree pattern, which is a very common sort of arrangement in Elliott wave parlance. And so when we see that, it gives us a lot of confidence that what we're doing is we're kind of winding uh, lower and lower and lower until we finally get to that, that peak. And that's where we're at right here in our uh, opinion, certainly within 20, 25 points of it, if, if there's any gas left in the tank. But my suspicion is uh, we're going to break hard to the downside. And if we get below that level that um, was the prior wave A of Y, uh, which comes in just below, say, um, uh, 41.86, I believe, that is going to be pretty good evidence that we're breaking to the downside. Once we get between Uh, say, below 4,050, 4,040, that range, that will confirm that wave three down is in progress. And in our opinion, that will carry to new bear market lows uh, that are significantly below the October lows. Yeah, well, it's going to be really interesting. I heard Stanley Druckermiller, he's uh, he's very bearish uh, for the next uh, 18 months. He thinks it's going to be at least a 30% drop. Now, uh, I wanted to... uh, bring up a little commercial for you here with your monthly newsletter. I think it's, what, $10 a month. It's the best 10 bucks you can spend, folks. That's less than a tip <laughs> at a nice restaurant. But tell the folks about the newsletter and how they can get it, Jeff, because this is really worthwhile. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, our newsletter is published on the uh, Saturday that follows the jobs reports. The next publication is July 8th. We just put one out on uh, June 3rd. And uh, it's affectionately entitled Huge Insights, the Big Picture. Inside uh, the newsletter, we cover a lot of top-down sort of macro sort of things, just like we've been talking around here, Uh, interesting facts. We really delved into the whole AI scenario uh, this past month, and I think that's going to have some staying power for a while here. Uh, But then we get into, you know, our view on the market, and we make our forecast and how we're positioned, and, and we give you some ideas how you can actually put your money to work and if you want to jump into uh, Substack at hugeinsights.substack.com, you can find uh, the newsletter, sign up for it. It's free to subscribe. It gets delivered to your email box. Uh, and uh, if you want to upgrade to the paid service where you get full access to everything, it's actually $12 a month, which breaks down to $0.39 cents a day. And, uh, gosh, if we can't make you more than $12 a month, uh, then we should we should probably hang hang it up at this point. We've been doing much better than that. Uh, yeah. But, um, you know, for, for serious investors who really look for ideas and, and insight on the market, I think it's a great value. No question about it, my friend. And I really enjoy watching your charts today, and I pass them on to my uh, associates that have an interest in it, too. So we'll have you on again really soon, but keep this great work coming up. A wonderful letter. Look forward to it right around the 4th of July time period. So I will have you again uh, probably uh, in another uh, week or two before the 4th of July, if that's okay with you. Sure, anytime, Larry. Okay, thank you for joining us, folk. Uh, Jeff, I, I really do appreciate you coming on. So Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights, folks. He's a real pro. Always a pleasure. Thanks a lot. You bet. Okay, folks, we've got to take a break here, I think, coming up in just a second here, about 54 seconds. When we come back, uh, I want to talk to you one more time about the uh, overall 
uh, situation in that Russell because that has taken a lot of uh, steam today, folks. It's had a huge pattern completed, uh, and if we close above that, and and we, and we have to close above it, then that'll tell you that oh my goodness, that maybe this whole thing is for real, and they're going to pull everything up, the the bathwater and everything else. But we'll do one thing at a time. So we'll be right back and talk about the Russell. So stay with us. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we've been asked to take a look at the daily chart of silver from one of our listeners over in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, this happens to be, you can see the 382 retracement. We took out the previous day's high by just a little bit still within a penny or two of the exact 382 retracement. What we're looking for, folks, is a similarity move between this swing right here and this swing right here, which is going to take you down about $2 more in the silver market bringing you down to about this level right here now at that point you're going to have a one three five pattern you're going to have a one the beginning of the chart there's your three 
and there's your five. And that's going to be it. You're going to have perfect symmetry, just like we're looking at in gold at uh, 1905 to 1915. We're going to be looking at silver $2 lower down in this area right here. Do these patterns work all the time? No, but the one thing they do do is they quantify how much you have to risk to see if you're going to be in the darn thing. And that's why it's so very, very important. So let's pay attention to that because, you know, these markets are jumping around quite a bit. But if you follow them closely, I would try to do the best we can. We've sort of messed up in the Russell to begin with, but uh, so far it's come back in our favor. Uh, whether that will continue or not, the S&P is still working great. I just saw a trade flash over here at uh, 42 uh, 72 That's down 30 handles from where we sold it on Friday. And so far, this is, what, Wednesday? So we had three down days. And uh, it's now it's a little bit oversold, but we're going to see what happens. Remember, there's some really strong support down there at uh, 4130 in the S&P. That's a very, very important 382 number that needs to be watched closely. So let's remind ourselves, folks, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And that's what these patterns are for, because when they fail, you go on to the next bus, put a quarter in, you're going to find your true love. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs>